So when you, when I sat beside you, I was like, oh, she's so nice. Blah, blah, blah. I even told my friend who was, you know, with me, she's like, oh my God, she was so nice. It was so nice. I really appreciate people like you. Because, you know, like in the, in the, the fashion industry, not everybody is very um, welcoming. Mm. And they, I feel that, well, this is just me. I feel that sometimes they like to give off that certain vibe. So then they look cooler. Mm -hmm. So it's intimidating for me sometimes because I'm like, I'm super chill. How is the fashion scene in um, the Philippines? You know, we have a lot of talented um, Filipino designers and designers. Super. Um, like you have Mark Garner, who's a friend. There's just so many that are really, really good with um, structure. And you should come. It's so hard to explain. And, you know, in Cebu, um, there are a lot of people that, I mean, there are a lot of companies that are really, really good suppliers. Like they make the most amazing bags. I'm going to send you one of the bags that I I did because I love going to Cebu. I love going to like the factories there and you would love to come. Like they make the best stuff. Like it's amazing how, and you know, like you see um, a lot of brands also get their stuff done here. Oh. So you'll see some that are, you know, that it's amazing. It, it, it makes me proud. And I wish, you know, people could like come and really see. Yeah. Do you guys have week in um, the Philippines? We have what? Like fashion week, like uh, to show No, but we have, we do have um, Manila Festival, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And it's really like a whole week of different Filipino designers. Yeah. So it's really nice because they they try to, you know, showcase the new designers um, and up and coming. So it really gives them like an outlet. But I wish, you know, like there's like a place where you can come and it's not just, you know, the usual designers. It's from the like a beauty pageant kind of fashion week that you have different kinds of nationalities and, you know, like that would be so interesting. I know. I, I, I've been wanting to go to like the Philippines for a long, long time, but haven't got the chance to go. But like now it's going to be difficult to travel. But yeah, well, well, at least we're nearer than Europe. Yeah. It'll still be easier for you. <laughs> That's true. Because like now, how long is um, the flight to go to, 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 go to Europe? From uh, Singapore? Going to London or Paris is 12 hours. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit more for us, I think. Yeah. But I mean, you know, when you're there, like, oh, I love it. Yeah. I love this. I, I miss the butter on the flight. So I can, sometimes when I travel, like, 12 hours, there's time that I travel to London. I just stop the moment before it takes off. And yeah. Then, about sign is off I just flatten my bed yeah from the start I sleep all the way till it lands and oh, no nice. no food nothing yeah wow that's a gift I never even like wake up wake up yeah the oh long my God. The sleep on flight was 16 and a half hours wow that's real that's a gift coming back from London um from uh um uh, New York. Oh my God! Because me, I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know why. Because I, th well, I know why. I used to watch a lot of like Nat Geo, Seconds to Disaster, and stuff like that, and it got stuck on my mind. And now every time I'm like, oh my God, I hope the wheels don't come off. Like you know, I get all these like imaginations, and it's crazy. Uh huh. Okay, I, I, mine I is, want to see. Mine is horrible, but I guess you can still see the. <laughs> No, it's art. <laughs> See? Not bad. Not bad, I swear. It's not. You just need to blend her cheek tint a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I just just need, a little bit. I just need to wait uh, till the, 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 the paint get dry a little bit. 
so that I can yeah. end out. But it's okay. It's okay that it's not dry. It'll be easier to mix if it's not dry. Like you can destroy the redness and kind of like. Can you see? <laughs> <laughs> like so many people are laughing. <laughs> <laughs> have to put her highlighter. highlighter the highlighter will save the day for for the nose and eyes yeah. for the nose and the eyes just to make it stick i mean to make it stand out a nose job for you yes just a little bit a tweak here okay. and there Don't be discouraged. Okay, fine. It's fine. I'll take it. Now, you know what you can do in the back? Yeah. I promise me it'll work. I'm sure you're good with clothes and you're good with print. You can, like, you know how, like, the, like this? Yeah. All that. And then you fill up the black as, like, a checkered. I mean, checkered. What do you call that? Um, Like a chest? Yeah. You can do that to the whole back. So then you have like a nice black and white feel. Do I, I don't need to do the brown one, yeah? No, you don't have to do the brown one. You could just fill it up with your um, squares. Okay, okay. Baby boy. Yeah, hang on. Go ahead. <laughs> you have a baby, I have a dog. Okay. How are you guys doing? Oh, I will just do a small check, yeah? Yeah. A small one, and then I will just color the... Yeah, just color it black and white, and it'll be good. Just very concentric, which is, it's fine. You're fine? So you're always on the go. Yeah, always on the go. That's why you can't sit still. Yeah, uh, I mean, the, I mean, at the peak, I think I travel so much that I yeah. only five days in a month. Wow. Yeah. So like people that are watching from the Philippines, I'm going to interview you now. It's my job to interview. So how did you start? Like what made you so interested with fashion and how did it begin for you? Um, I think for me, um, I just always have an interest in fashion. I yeah. love this young and my my. Just, I kind of like the max, the most I, 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 I mean, I like go to a shop, or like a shopping mall. Yeah. Like, I love I like looking at clothes and fashion. So, yeah. so that's how I, I mean, started liking fashion. Um, yeah. That um, I just you know, started my own shop, and then um, um, stylist 
coming over to my store to loan clothes, and then they ask like, "Oh, can we feature you on magazine?" And oh, really? Okay. I started like um, doing like this whole fashion week thing, and then I I was the face of a Singapore magazine at the time. Okay. So, I'm going to fashion week and um, I guess continuing continue doing it till now yeah yeah how long has it been um i think officially going to fashion week is like three, four and a half years but wow. then uh, but then um if doing fashion is like way before maybe yeah be like since you were little That's amazing. Yeah. How how did you? Sorry. I mean, I'm sure you have like a. I mean, love fashion as well. So yes. how did you start like doing a uh, fashion week as well? Well, um, I always loved uh, fashion, and ever since I, uh, I've been working for twenty, twenty almost twenty four years. Yeah. So. You know, I've always expressed myself through that. And um, about four, I think four years ago, I, my first, my very first show was Caparelli. Oh. Was that four years ago or three years ago? I don't remember. But um, that was actually one of my very first shows. And, um, you know, I, always, I also paint and I do all of these things. So it was so like mind blowing for me. And at the same time, you know, it really explained, it wasn't, you know, like, usually people, when they say, oh, she likes to dress up, oh, she's just, you know, vain and whatever. And, but this had an explanation, like, this had a meaning. So I, I would just get so inspired every time I'd go to Fashion Week. Yeah. And so after that first show, I just started to travel. And it's funny because um, I, I grew up with strict parents, so I wasn't really allowed to travel the world um, without my mom. So when I got married was actually when I became super independent and I really started to travel and, you know, go to fashion week. So I just got so addicted to it. I'm just so happy that my husband is super supportive. So he allows me to leave and anytime I like. So that's how I started. I just that's nice. started to go and see the world, you know, because I've never been to Europe um you know the movie Taken yeah <laughs> my dad would always tell me oh, this is what's gonna happen to you when you go to when you go to Paris because my I have a lot of like friend my my friend who's French her name is Solette she's an actress here she said oh my god you have to go to Paris and I said no you can't go to Paris you're gonna go get taken because you know he's afraid that I become too independent you know so there so I was never so when I got married that's when I started to travel then I started to have like you know I also have I'm a part of a network so technically I can't really leave for just to go on a vacation so it also has to be official so you know going to fashion week it's it's work it's hard work uh, I know I mean you guys have to like shoot have to go through interviews yeah go. you have to do the content yeah do your part so yeah, so there. But I, I enjoy it. So far, it's your favorite show, like a uh, most memorable show. Well, it would still be Scaparelli because I was wearing this, like, you know, um, shoes, like Louboutin shoes that had spikes and glitter. And I forget which model, but she was like a veteran, like super senior model. And she's French, and she was walking, and she had this really beautiful tool with hearts on it, right? And, you know, she was passing by, and when she passed me by, and she turned the corner, because you know how it's a small room, like in their old shop, she stopped because her dress was caught on something. Your shoe. And she started to walk again, and then the, the heart stuff ripped. And I was like, and I was like Where, what's happening? Like... And I looked on my shoe, and it was on my shoe, and it ripped, and it was couture. I was like, 
oh my god i was wearing a really bright like a full sharp pink um uh coat so she yeah. couldn't miss me so i was like oh my god so i took it off and then she walked right and i thought it was over but everyone was looking at me like oh my god like you know whatever and then when it was like the ending and everybody was walking right so like okay so it's done it's done i gotta get out of here yeah. she walked past me and she stopped she went like this she tapped me and she went and she walked away i wanted to cry oh it was a small room right so i was like oh my god i have to get out here and i was like oh my god they're gonna totally make me pay for this and i was like it's the end of me i'm gonna get a, a divorce because i have you know i don't know how to pay for this gown like horrible so i never forgot that oh my god yeah so now every but i'm so small so i don't know how how my foot was extended it wasn't extended because you know people are bigger than me so my legs were like right here i don't know it just it it went there and it passed it got stuck and it ripped sometimes it did happens i mean also maybe because those are sample sometimes i mean we see yeah, yeah. um i mean this kind of thing happened very often in the runway so i mean yeah i felt embarrassed i was like horrified i had to fight yeah but wait let me see your painting is, uh, is yours done already i think so it, it can be it's very nice mine on the other hand no but it's see, see look at the black and white it's really nice i'm not joking okay. it's really nice it's my no, no 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 it's art I tell you, if you put like a nice frame on that, like something bright, maybe something yellow or something, it's nice. I'm not joking. I'll ask my son tomorrow. What do you think about this painting? Don't you think it's nice? It's nice. <laughs> Below. You just have to sign. Now you. What? Okay, it's okay. You just have to sign your name right here. Okay. To make it legit. Legit. I'm gonna sign that. <laughs> oh, I I just auctioned this yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, you never know. You never know. And then we can put 20. All right. There you go. Oh, nice. <laughs> Yours is nice, I swear. I swear, you know what, if you can make another, if you have other canvases, like two more, yeah. make it a series of the same color, it doesn't have to be a face. Well, yes. yes. Yeah. You make it a series, get one more, and then frame it like three, it'll look nice, I swear. Uh, the next time I'm going to paint on like the smaller canvas, I'm just going to paint the pattern. <laughs> no, it looks good, I swear. If you send that to me in Manila, I'm going to put it... Wait, I'm going to show you something. This was my first ever painting. I was 12, and it's horrible. But look at the frame. Wow. What is that? A mountain? I don't know. <laughs> it's a mountain. <laughs> well, at least I try. But if the frame is also... It'll complete the look. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So I see that. I think I have some question in the in the in the question box. Yes. The, Let's go through the questions. Yeah. Uh, where do you get art supply? Do you get it online or do you go to a physical shop? Um, sometimes you can have it like on Amazon. It's there. E uh, eBay. Is it? Wait, I don't know how to shop online. So I have somebody else buy, but yes, it's online, especially like the acrylic ones, you can order it online, or if you're painting on like a leather bag, that would be, um, I'm not sure if it's An Angelus, if the brand is Angelus, that's also all online, but if, if you're from the Philippines, it's, um, there's called an art bar, it's like a national bookstore, um, and they carry a lot, um, but usually it's online, because everything is there. Oh, it's the color right away. Somebody asked, "Are you left-handed?" Oh my God, you guys are so observant. No, I'm not. I'm not left-handed. It's just I'm using my my camera. Oh, like facing me. I. That's right. 
Okay, and then somebody asked you, how do you make texture on canvases? Um, well, you usually, well, uh, it's either you do it before you paint on it or while you're painting on it. So, for example, if I'm going to get this blue and I'm yeah. just going to leave it like that, it's going to dry that way and there's going to be a texture on it. So, it'll be hard and then it'll just be more texturized. And then, or, yeah, that's how I do it. Read out um, some of the questions. I think we somehow do we meet? We meet at, uh, I mean, we met at a fashion show at Lowe's. Yeah. That's right. And then somebody asked us, how, how's your impression of other? Very good impression. And then, um, if you have any then you can ask her right now so that she can answer your question right here. Me? Yeah. What is, is your question? <laughs> any question regarding painting? I mean, you guys can comment. Yeah. Painting, it can be self-expression, it can be anything you like. Sorry, there's a lot of Filipino that you can't understand. I see that. What paint do you use? Well, this one is Windsor and Newton. So this is the acrylic, and I think they also have it in oil. So this is a good brand too for me. What kind of supplement or vitamin do you take? Me, I take a lot of vitamin C. Grape I'm C. Yeah. Vitamin C is like the best. Yeah. Grape C. Um, you. What do you take? Um, I take vitamin C. Your skin's really good. Oh. Yeah. And oil. <laughs> um, so, um, wait, hold on. Who this? Oh, um, somebody asked you what paint or brushes um, should a beginner get? Um, well, you have the flat brush, which you were using a while ago. But I also like, I'm not sure how you call it, but it's a little bit circular because it's easier to control. Um, and it's also good with blending. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, what inspiration do you use for painting? For me, um, sometimes it's my mood, like what I feel, if I'm sad, if I'm happy. So that reflects a lot with the colors and stuff that I do. Mm -hmm. um, or sometimes it's just, you know, like architect architecture or fashion that inspires me. I see a certain print and then I'm inspired. Um, I love Kelly Wurstler, by the way. Oh, me, same. I'm a oh. fan of her. I love her. And, um, should a beginner use acrylic or should they use uh, oil? Um, watercolor is actually hard. So I don't suggest that you use watercolor because it bleeds. Mm -hmm. So it's not easy to control. So that's actually for experts, I, I would feel. Um, acrylic is really easy because it dries a lot. And, you know, if you make a mistake, it's, you can fix it easily. Yeah. Uh, but if you want to take it to another level, I feel that oil is really, really good. Um, you could actually, like this painting I plan to do, this is acrylic. The moment it dries, I'm going to get the oil because you could put oil on top of acrylic to yeah. make the... It makes kind of the painting a bit more rich looking, so that's what you could do. So you can start with acrylic, actually. Okay. Um, any more questions, guys? Why is everyone? Because I've I've been seeing people say "po." What is "po"? P O. Po meaning "po" means like hello, po. Um, it's like showing respect. Like, can you uh, can you uh, um. I am, oh wait, how do I say, ako po, ako po, I am sir, or something like that. Tell me about your dear. Way of saying it. Yeah, it's like a respect. Right, respect. Hello po. So, okay. um, how, uh, how do I say, oh my god, something short, don't, don't. Okay. Teach me. Uh, me how to say, thanks for joining us. Salamat po. Salamat po. Is that okay? Yeah, salamat po. But this is hard. Sa salamat 
po sa panonood. Salamat po sa panonood. <laughs> panonood. Panonood. Salamat po sa 